Hi, my name is Rich Kim, and I grew up in New Jersey, and I left New Jersey for training. I went to Rhode Island. I did my residency at Brown University. I did a congenital hand fellowship at Harvard Hospitals in Boston. Then I came back down to New York area. I did my fellowship training at Columbia, and I did work for a little bit back in, in Rhode Island at Brown University, but then I decided to come back to Jersey. Um, family and friends brought me back here. And so I've been in New Jersey since 2007, and I've been practicing here since. My inspiration to go into hand surgery, it's, it's a fascinating machine. It has a lot of different parts to it. And the surgery is really fascinating also. There's some soft tissue work, there's some bony work, there's some microvascular surgery. It's a fascinating field and everything has to kind of fit together for it to work right. As a child, I did sustain a significant injury to my ring finger, and at the time it was very important because I was a, I played a lot of violin growing up, and so it really did affect my career at that point. Um, and so looking back on that, I think cancer is interesting because it's not only about bones and joints, it's about soft tissues, your tendons, your nerves, for everything to work together for really to have that kind of precise movement. I think my greatest patient success stories are my congenital hand surgery cases. I think especially for babies, for infants born without thumbs, without uh, radius bones in their form, I think those are really meaningful surgeries. I think you can potentially change a person's life, a child's life with those surgeries. I make a, feel, a patient feel comfortable by really just talking to them, looking at them in the face and talking to them. I go over all the results with them. We communicate together about what tests they've had and what the plan is going forward and we formulate it together. I would say my role model in this field of medicine is my previous chairman from my residency. Even at an older age, he would still come in at three o'clock in the morning to, for cases to teach residents and to teach them anatomy and show them the, the particulars about surgery. And so I hope in my career I can touch train, uh, trainees with that same kind of knowledge and support.